Hi, my name is Eliza Lindy, and I am a physical therapist assistant at Loveless UNM Outpatient Clinic, and I have prepared for you today a little presentation about treating Parkinson's disease at Loveless UNM Outpatient Clinic. Parkinson's disease is a neurological disorder that affects a specific area of the brain that creates dopamine. And symptoms generally develop slowly over the years and they can vary from one person to another. The disease is very diverse and affects people differently. Parkinson's disease is diagnosed by a medical professional and up to 8 million people worldwide are living with Parkinson's disease. And some symptoms of Parkinson's may include tremors, so which is shaking or muscle spasms in your legs, in your arms, in your hand. It's very common to have one called pill rolling, where you roll your fingers as though you were rolling a small pill. And it may ha happen, it happens unconsciously. Also slowed movement, bradykinesia. So you may have a very hard time getting your body to start moving forward if you're walking, for example or very slow movement, pushing your arm into a sleeve of a shirt or getting in and out of the car. You may also have rigid muscles. So you may be walking normally and then all of a sudden your body freezes and you just can't get your leg to step forward. And you may also have impaired posture. It's very common with Parkinson's disease to see a stooped posture and impaired balance. It's also very common to walk with a slow shuffling gait where you're taking small steps and the posture is poor as opposed to standing up and walking normally. Other symptoms include difficulty writing. It's very common that your writing gets shaky and small and you may also have changes in speech where you may Think that you're speaking at a normal volume, but the people around you are constantly asking you to speak louder. And you may think that you're speaking at a normal volume, but your voice is actually getting very soft and weak. And you may be slurring your speech or hesitating before talking. You may also lose some of the normal inflections and facial expressions when you're speaking or communicating. So those are just some of the common signs of Parkinson's. And like I said before, it varies from person to person, so you may exhibit some of those symptoms. So at Loveless UNM Outpatient Clinics, we have three different therapeutic treatments for Parkinson's. And those three treatments are LSVT Big, Speak Out, and Power Move. And in this presentation, I'm gonna tell you about the basics of each of those programs. Um, what they have in common, what the time commitments are, and um, what you may do during a treatment, what we recommend after you've completed a treatment, and a few other facts and resources for each of those three programs. And we do offer the three um, programs at our main rehab hospital downtown. We also offer the big program in Santa Fe at our outpatient clinic there. And we also offer the big program at our outpatient clinic in Rio Rancho. All of the therapies are, the treatment programs are administered by certified physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech language pathologists, and therapist assistants that have been certified in at least one of the three treatment programs. And in general, the treatment goals for Parkinson's, regardless of which of the treatment programs you may participate in, are to empower people diagnosed with Parkinson's disease to restore and maintain their highest levels of function in daily life, living with whichever of the symptoms may be presenting themselves. And that includes improving your mobility, your ability to communicate, and to maintain your independence. And all of these programs have been developed with um, scientific research and are highly effective programs incorporating daily exercises and activities. So the three um, features that all of these, that these three programs have in common are target, mode, and calibration. So target 
When I say that, I'm speaking about aiming for increasing your bigness, movement, or loudness. As I mentioned earlier when I was describing the symptoms of Parkinson's, one of them, for example, is walking with a small, shuffling gait and having a stooped posture. So we want to counteract that by encouraging you through a series of exercises to move big. So big arm movements, taking big steps, and using a big voice. The second of these features is mode, and to that we're speaking of high effort and intense dosage. So the exercises take a lot of effort to move your arms big, for example, to stand up with big posture, to use a big voice, and the treatment programs are prescribed to do these exercises every day with your best effort, and when you're enrolled in the big program, for example, you would be coming four days a week for four weeks. So it's an intensive one-month program. The other two programs, the time frames are a little bit different, but we'll talk about that a little later in the presentation. And then the third main feature or um, goal of these three programs is calibration. So often what happens, people that have Parkinson's disease, is you may think that you are speaking in a normal tone of voice, but you're actually speaking very softly. So your brain is telling you that you're speaking at a normal volume. So we want to recalibrate your perception of your movement or volume. So just to demonstrate what I was speaking about with Target, here's an example of a person with stooped posture um, taking small steps versus using amplitude and effort to stand up nice and tall, to take big steps, and to walk with a normal arm swing. So moving from a small stature to big. And again, um, with the voice, that your voice is soft, and we want to encourage you to use healthy vocal loudness. So not shouting, but using good volume and effort to speak loudly and clearly. And mode, again, is high effort and intensive dosage, so intensity across all of the sessions that you would be coming for treatment, which are individualized and personalized based on your symptoms and um, difficulties, and sending you home with daily homework and carryover exercises to work on every day and to make those a habit to do daily for the rest of your life after you have completed one of the Parkinson's treatment programs with us. And lastly, calibration, so recalibrating your perception of movement or volume. And this is to address the mismatch between your perception of how much you are moving or the volume of your voice and how others perceive how much you're moving and the volume of your voice. So those three are kind of the basic tenets of the three treatment programs that we offer here at Loveless UNM. So you may ask, how do these daily exercises help? So with LSVT Big and Power Moves, these are very um, physical um, exercise based and the series of exercises are designed to improve your ability to stop and start movement with control, to improve your ability to turn and make direction changes, to increase your endurance and stamina, to improve your balance, improve your strength, increase your range of motion, and improve your posture, all of which will help you maintain your independence and mobility and um, continue activities of daily life. The Speak Out program is focused on your voice and communication. And participation in this program will help you increase vocal volume and clarity, improvements to swallowing, which can be a secondary issue with Parkinson's, and increasing your facial expressions when communicating. So a little bit now about each of the specific programs, starting with the LSBT Big program. Their goal is empowering people with Parkinson's to live bigger and better. So I'm going to show you now a short video of a person diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and how they were filmed walking before they started the program Next to it is a video of how this individual was filmed walking after completing a one-month intensive program. There's no um, sound on this video, so I will just narrate as we go. 
This is a 71-year-old man with Parkinson's disease. So the video on the left, you can see he's using a cane and he's taking very short, sort of choppy steps and notice that his arms are not swinging as they would normally. Compared to the video on the left where he's not using a cane, he's taking nice long strides, swinging his arms as he would normally. And you can see here in the video on the left when the man reaches a different surface, like that carpet, it sort of um, slows him up a little bit and he's very hesitant walking from one different surface to the other. Whereas after the treatment program, it's easy for him to just flow down the hallway, walking through doorways, going over a step. So you can see pretty clearly the improved balance and speed and that he's moving bigger. Bigger arm swing, bigger steps, bigger posture. So he's moving with more stability, strength, confidence, and endurance. And the second video, this is of a gentleman with Parkinson's disease who is buttoning a shirt during a Parkinson's treatment session. So you will see uh, what some of the common cues are that the therapists use and how effective they are for working on daily tasks that can become very difficult, like buttoning a shirt. So he's really struggling with that difficult task of pushing a button through the buttonhole. He had to do those finger flicks to activate his muscles and then try buttoning the shirt again. You're right, you're right. Good job. So that's an example of how of how a Parkinson's treatment program where retraining your brain to move big and make bigger movements can make a simple task like buttoning a shirt that was once challenging um, easy again. This next slide is an example of the big daily exercises. And you'll see that um, this person is seated in a chair for the first couple and then standing for um, the other exercises that are shown in the slide, but all of these exercises can be adapted if uh, one needs to remain seated in a chair or even lying down. But you can see just looking at this um, general picture of, uh, of these exercises that they're all about big movement and she's reaching her arms and legs away from her midline to really extend her body and she's working on balancing, standing, and rotating. So our other, our second um, program that focuses on exercise and a lot of physical dynamic movement is Power Move. And their goal is to make fun of exercises, functional exercises. And it's a, the building blocks of fun function is to use it or lose it and reinforcing your dopamine circuit, which as I mentioned at the beginning, is a chemical produced in the brain that is depleted in with patients that have Parkinson's disease. So these exercises again are designed to reinforce those dopamine circuits connecting brain to the muscles and making it fun with exercise. So the, there are four basic power moves that are incorporated into the exercises or that the exercises are designed around and the Four goals of those four moves are to counteract rigidity with slow rhythmic movement, 
to counteract bradykinesia, which again is that slow movement. Uh, doing the exercises as big and fast as possible with a lot of repetitive high effort. The third is to counteract in coordination, in coordination where the moves are linked together into longer and longer sequences that mimic everyday movements like getting in and out of a car or putting dishes onto a shelf to improve your overall function. And finally, to counteract the loss of automaticity, which is when the body freezes and just won't move forward or an arm won't lift into a sleeve. And those are combined with secondary motor and cognitive tasks, such as um, counting out loud or doing some math out loud or maybe listing your top five favorite movies while you're doing exercises, which really creates a real, real world environment, context, and situations. So you practice these things in the clinic and then practice them at home. And here is an example of a couple of the power up exercises. You can see they start on the floor and then you're moving up, up onto hands and knees and into a chair and then to standing. And again, they're all very dynamic. So you're really reaching and extending your arms and legs, working on posture, strength, endurance, rotating, twisting and turning. And then finally, of our last three treatment programs offered at Loveless UNM, we have the Speak Out program, which is focused on communication and voice. So 90% of people with Parkinson's disease are at risk of developing a weak voice. So it's very common, which can severely limit one's ability to speak and communicate. And there can also be difficulties with swallowing. So the Speak Out program is a speech therapy treatment that focuses on um, training you to speak with intent and with improved volume, clarity, and quality for daily communication. And again, there may be benefits to um, improving your ability to swallow, increased facial expression while talking, and improving difficulties that may happen with um, speech-related brain changes, like word recall, for example. And just like with the BIG program and the Power Moves program, there's a series of speech, voice, and cognitive exercises that you would do with your therapist and as well as daily exercises at home. So how do you I get started with a treatment program at Loveless UNM? So after receiving a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, you would request a referral from your primary care physician, neurologist, or healthcare provider to one of our Loveless UNM clinics. At that time, you will be automatically scheduled for an initial evaluation with a physical or occupational therapist and a speech language pathologist. And at that evaluation, you will be evaluated or assessed to determine if um, one of these programs or either the BIG or the Power Moves program and the Speak Out program is appropriate for you. And these programs are covered by health insurance, so a copay may be required. So you'd need to check with your insurance provider. So what are the time commitments? I talked about these programs being um, quite intensive, and they do vary a little bit from program to program. But the LSVT BIG is the most intensive in that for a month, you would come four days a week for one hour each session. So that's 16 one-hour sessions for a month and you would do the exercises in treatment with your therapist, and you'd also do them at home every day, as well as some carryover exercises. And we'd want you to do this indefinitely, the exercises at home. So that's the most intensive of the two exercise programs. The Power Moves is a little more customized, and we like to see people one to three times per week, depending on your schedule. And that would be one hour sessions for two to three months and also includes daily homework and carryover exercises. The Speak Out program is for a month, um, seeing patients up to three times a week for four weeks, again with daily homework and carryover exercises. So each of these programs requires a good time commitment from you, but it's very important and the research has shown that these repetitive exercise programs combined with um, medications are the most effective for 
delaying the progression of Parkinson's disease. And then at the end of your month-long program, what we recommend is that you, of course, continue doing your exercises at home every day. And then we have free programs for graduates of the treatment programs with a weekly class for um, the big program, it's called Big for Life. For the Speak Out program, it's called the Loud Crowd. And you can come to free weekly classes at Loveless UNM for as long as you would like. And we also recommend that you schedule a tune-up with your therapist every two to six months to review your exercises and to make any modifications that need to be made. So there's a lifelong support and maintenance system. I do need to note that our maintenance programs are currently on hold due to COVID restrictions. So please consider joining us at Loveless UNM to learn how to live your best life with Parkinson's disease. And thank you for watching this presentation.